to finish the game. Take my dick if you if you want. No, no, man, no cry. So you mainly uh play Reyna? Uh yeah, Reyna. And if if Reyna is locked, I most of you. Cool, cool. Okay, so um, when we're pushing these angles, and um, so first of all, they can already be here. Mm. Like, if there was someone short A, he could be right here, right? And he could shoot you. So um, if he's not right here, this is this is okay to gamble that he won't push out. It's fine, but it's a little risky. But if they aren't here, then I would also be expecting him right here. Right, so right around this corner, or at the top of the stairs, or something. Definitely, this is what I'm looking for and what I'd be worried about. So, like right here, I would flash and then run in, because like look, because if there was anyone short, right, you're dead, right, because someone here or like someone right here. So th we're just kind of like risking for no reason when we can have our gun out the whole time, right, and be ready for these angles. You'd be dead right here. Yeah, this is, yeah, this, right? This, yeah. So we're... And like, we don't have to have her flash out the whole time. We can have her gun out, cl mm. check clearing all these angles. And then when we get up here and we make sure this is clear, now we pull out our flash and flash herself in. Right? No. We definitely... Because we're just walking with our pants down with our ability out. Right? So we definitely want to be ready for those. So this is a good flash, but we could... Uh, yeah, this is perfect. But you could pull out your flash right before... You throw it, right? Yep. Not have it out the whole time to get ready for it. So good stuff, good stuff. Good overheal. Nice, this is a good take. Okay, so... Yeah, pretty free round. Um, oh no, not so free. Okay, good stuff. Good movement. Yeah, sure. Um, if the Rainer would have actually focused me, I think I would have that. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not reloading here. Nine bullets is plenty, yeah. and we're out in the open. So like, if you are reloading, then you have to hide. Right, because we don't want to be peeking with while reloading, right? It's the same thing as, you know, having our pants down, right? With the ability out. So we definitely... And nine bullets is plenty to kill someone, right? We don't even need that many bullets to kill someone, so... We're just standing out in the open, just waiting to get picked. So it's a little, it's a little risky, but okay. So what do you usually do second round if you win the first? If I win the first... Well, I never really buy any weapons that... In second round. I, I don't money? force buy oh, generally, man. except I get lots of kills and have enough eco. Okay. But most um, mostly um, I go for, um, if I lose, I go for light shield and yeah, like half buy yeah, my abilities. Yeah. And if I Your win with like a few kills, I go heavy shield full buy. Okay. So yeah, if, if, we, if we win the first round, we generally want to spend all of our money. Um, like mm -hmm. Spectre, heavy shields, uh, stuff like that. And I mean, like you can make the... Um, uh, you can make the argument that you can buy just like a ghost if you want to buy an op third round. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, like, it's so much safer to buy Spectre heavy shields. We'll see. And if you lose the first round, you're definitely full saving second, like no matter what. Okay, okay. I mean, ghost is still really good. So at least you're buying heavy shields, but... Sometimes, sometimes it's not enough, and then people lose the second round because they don't want to spend any money. Good kill. Oh goodness. Uh -oh. 
go chat, go chat, go chat, right, 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 right. No, 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 right, 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 right. Left, 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 left. Yes, sorry. I hope you'll die. So good stuff, good stuff. I mean, it was kind of a close round, and you guys only won because uh, he bought, right? Because he had he had armor and a and a bulldog. So like, the the people that win rounds because they only buy ghosts and stuff, or like they don't spend their money, is usually because they're riding on the backs of people who spent all their money. If that makes sense, mm. right? So I mean. Every game, if I'm not buying an op, I'm full buying second round if I win. Spectre, heavy shields. Yeah. And I'm just I'm just running a train on the enemy team. Because Spectres it, rip people. Right? On rain it also kind of makes sense. So I can get the kills easier. Exactly. Well. Exactly. So, and also, like, it, it doesn't ruin your economy. Because if you do well that round, you get lots of money. And then someone who did die, you drop them your Spectre. So they have a gun, and now you upgrade to an assault rifle. Huh. So it, it, it always works itself out. But lots of times I see these people, they, they save the second round, or like they try to fix their economy, and making sure their economy is good for the third round. But they lose. They lose the second round because they don't spend enough money, right? And, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to... Uh, be in a, see, like, here, look, right? We don't even upgrade... We don't even buy an assault rifle uh, the third round. Why? Because... Yeah, because I already have one. Yeah, so you picked it up. So it's like you could have bought a bulldog second round, mm. right? And just use it into the third round too. Are, are your parents divorced? Or someone could have dropped you their bulldog or Spectre, and then they buy an assault rifle. So, I don't know, there's there's lots of different ways to play economy, but I think the safest thing you can do is uh, definitely buy the second round. Just to, just to ensure the win, you know? Yep. Yeah, so here's another thing. We're walking up with our yep. pants down, because we don't need... Exactly. Oh, right. If they peek, you're dead. 100%. So we don't want... I mean, the Jeb was holding mid, so... Well, holding mid, not garage. Oh, yeah. Right? And if, if they peek garage right here, mid can't see. Because this door is blocking it. So, if they do peek, you're a million percent dead. So, what we do is we hold the danger with our gun. And then when we're close, then we pull out the flash and flash us in. Because now you're kind of like, you're just risking it for no reason. See? He almost... that That, that timing was almost yeah. you he she almost just peeked and killed you right so mm. so good timing there nice and we upgraded perfect perfect good stuff i would break that wall good flash good flash oof oh you guys are you guys need some teamwork here okay sage is pushing in Push with her. Good job. So yeah, we definitely just want to plant here. Good stuff. One v one situation. Okay, reloading kind of gives away your position there, but not that big of a deal. Crosshair, crosshair too low. So yeah, uh, we're just getting a little too antsy. Um, our crosshair is a bit low. If he peeks, you're shooting at like the belt buckle. So uh, this just needs to be higher, right? And we just need to hold this angle just a little bit longer. Because yes, he could like fake you out and go back this way. But uh, if you like, if you peek to the left and he's not actually there, then you, then you're dead. Right. If you hold this angle for just a little bit longer to see if the the timing's right and he actually does walk out, then you kill him. But if 
if you hold it a little longer and he doesn't come, you're like, okay, maybe now, maybe he's going to be doing something like this, like walking this way. So it's just a little bit of patience and trusting yourself. And because uh, like, even if he does come around this way, walking the whole way, it takes a little while to get here, right? So you can, you have the time to keep holding this angle. And because uh, this is like the most obvious threat right here. And this is potential, but this is like uh, the obvious one. So we just want to hold for the obvious one, not get too antsy, and make sure our crosshair is ready to kill. Okay, so now we have our ult. We definitely want to be using this, like, as soon as possible. Good flash. See, th this is a much better flash, right? You have your gun out, you have your gun out. Now you flash and you use it, and now you peek. So much safer, because this guy can't kill you, you know. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, okay. Yeah, we definitely want to be ulting before swinging out like this. I think I kept my first ulti for a long time. Okay, so Reyna has only a six point ult, so she, uh, it's on the faster side. Wait, you, you just cut out? What? Uh, she has her, you can get her ult with only six orbs. Oh, yeah. So you, you generate it a, uh, a lot quicker than the seven pointers, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be wasting ult orbs. And what I mean by that is, so you know you get an ult orb every time you kill, Every time you die, every time you plant, and then every time you pick it up. So, now that we have our ult, we just got that kill, right? Ult orb down the drain. Okay, so now we go, we go, we go. Another ult orb down the drain, right? So now we're at two. Well, theoretically, if I would have... Ult yes, that's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. Nice. Yeah. That was a good round. But you, you see what I'm saying, right? Like, uh, it's so easy to generate those ult orbs. You almost got a full ult in one round. Yeah, I generally am pretty, like, anxious to use my ult when there's five people alive because I don't see it as worth. Oh, it's 100% worth. A million percent worth. Do it on cooldown. If you get your ult as Reyna, think about, I have to use this as fast as possible turn into the terminator because that ult is very good yeah. but if you never use ult with reyna then she's a very bad hero or champion agent Gotta shoot it, gotta shoot it, gotta shoot it as fast as possible. Yeah. So if you, okay, you have two options when Reyna flashes. Um, if you are safe enough to hide, then hide. If you are caught out, you have to shoot this as fast as possible to get your crosshair ready for the Reyna about a peak. Okay? Uh, for example, in this frame, would I be able to shoot the eye? Or like, yes, does it have yes. fully evolved? No, 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 you can shoot it. You can shoot it. Okay. 100% you can shoot it. So. We're too far away from safety. Now our only choice is to shoot this as fast as possible. And then uh, aim, yeah. get ready for the Reyna, right? And look, your teammate even shot it for you. So you have to have to, a little bit more uh, confidence about your teammates. And if you just shoot it yourself, you would have killed this Reyna, for sure. Because she just had a Spectre, she was missing her shots. So yeah, we definitely want to be shooting those. If we can't hide, right? And we couldn't hide. It was too far away to jump the cubby. But is it generally better to hide or to shoot it out? It really depends. It really depends because like it, it's 
if they don't know your position, like if they don't know you're there, then you want to keep hiding, right? Because shooting gives away your position. If they know you're there, then you want to shoot it because if you shoot that flash quickly, then Reyna is just wide swinging without her flash being active and she's just trolling at that point. So it's like a free kill. If you have multiple people. Yeah. If you're by yourself, I'd probably just hide. But if you have like two and people... Then I could throw my flash. Exactly, exactly. But if, if you have two people, then you want her to peek and to shoot the... Because if she flashes and then wide swings, but then the flash is destroyed, now she's caught in the open. So, uh, this is the situation you want, where she's caught in the open for a free pick, and you guys just clean her up. But it's only possible if you have quick reaction and shoot the flash without even hesitating. Good stuff, good stuff. So, this is exactly what we want to do, right? We want to be in the position where we're safe with our flash, flash it, and then swing. Perfect. Now we want to go quick, right? We got to pick on B, but our whole team's kind of doing whatever. I would probably go uh, this way to take C with my yeah. team because now in I'm taking. In this game, our team was very uncoordinated. Yeah. We're all flaming each other. All so, time, so. so, what happens when that, like when you're solo queuing, right? You can't force coordination uh, for the other people, but you can force coordination for yourself. So, like, what, what that means is, like, Okay, you guys got the pick. You got the pick at B, and the probably the right place to go B. So right, but no. you can't make them do what you want. So what you can do is just go with your team somewhere. So you're forcing the coordination by changing what you do, not trying to change what everyone else does. No. Right? Because looking at the mini map, this is a million percent to C take. Because you got two people long, you already have jet through garage flanking. So all it takes is for you to go through garage and help your team so this is what i'm talking about force coordination and this is this comes up a lot in solo queue right because not everyone works together but you can find situations where you yourself can change to work together okay so here our crosshair is low but that's okay we're planting b so now we're like split with this 2v2 weird split right this is definitely not coordinated Oh. Okay, so that that just that that just takes a little practice in the practice range, you know, getting familiar with the spray down and just practicing spraying in the practice range as well as bursting and one tapping and all the things because learning how to spray is very very important too. So, I, think, I think what threw me off there is that the solver was lower than I was. Yeah, yeah, elevation is is rough. Yep, yeah. it's it's difficult. It's not it's not that easy to do. But just knowing what you have to practice is very important. Mm. Okay, crosshair. Look where look where our crosshair is, right? Yeah. So. If they peek, we're shooting kneecaps, elbow, not elbow, uh, uh, waist, right? Waist at best. <laughs> yeah, see? You shot him like three times or something, but like if one of those bullets were a headshot, then that guy would have been dead. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so now we have, you know, see, round, round seven, we still have our ult, but we had our ult mm -hmm. at round three or four. So we definitely just want to be using it on cooldown. As fast as possible. You Try probably would have had it again by now, so... Exactly. Yeah, you definitely would. Um, what's it called? Just try to uh, make it a game to see how many times in one match you can ult. Okay, so definitely when clearing short, like uh, you're 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 not really giving much importance to, uh, you're not entertaining the possibility of them being close. Yeah. Right. So we definitely want to make this a lot safer and be ready for these angles because sometimes people play here, right? 
And if, if there was anyone here or here or here, you're dead, 100%. So don't be lazy, uh, don't cut corners, and we want to pre-aim all of these and be ready for them as if there's someone actually there. So, and it's not gonna save your life all the time, but you're gonna be ready for it, and maybe one out of three games, someone's actually gonna be there, and then you're gonna kill them instead of die to them. And that's the difference, right? So here, you see how our crosshair is ready for above perfect. Like, this is perfect pre-aim crosshair placement, right? Mm. We're ready for him. I want you to do this with a lot more angles. Yeah. Okay? It just... That's the difference between um, really good players and low-ranked players that they only are ready for some of the angles but the pros don't get caught off guard by these off angles because they're pre-aiming them already mm. they're entertaining the possibility of people being there okay so look at this coordination right yeah. it's rough right it's rough but what can we do what can we do that might look a little better Like Court, yeah, yeah, with the bomb, Silver. right? Exactly. Make sure that this bomb is not going anywhere in a bad spot, right? So just. I think that's also what I do here. Perfect. Right now, and then he runs to a. Okay, it it doesn't matter because if if Sova find yeah right like right now. Uh, okay, okay. So he's going to C, or I don't know what you guys are doing, but this is good. You guys are kind of like grouping up now. Okay. So good, 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 good. Call A. Yes, get them. Rally the troops. Because a lot of the times people listen, right? Like, t people are toxic, yes, and they and sometimes they don't listen. But for the majority of games, if you yourself aren't being toxic, and you're just saying, like, a proper call, like, let's go A, right? They'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> They'll just, they won't argue, like, no, no, we should go B. And then if they do say something like that, be like, okay, then let's go B. You don't argue. It doesn't matter where you go as long as all of you guys are going together. Because grouping up is way more important than uh, making the best call. Okay? So, what didn't we check? Uh, to the right? Perfect. Yeah, so your flash could have flashed someone to the right. And they could still actually be here. And then the flash now wears off and then now you die. But... Definitely, when, when that smoked deep right in here, I would definitely quickly clear this and then look over here. And I know it's pretty scary running in with your back turned, but as the first person in, you have to check the close corners. Mm. It's your job. And the entry fragger will die a lot. It happens. But it's your job to uh, check the immediate threats. Okay, okay. Yeah, regroup with the uh, Sage and take B. Gotta go quick, gotta go quick. Yep, so this is this is pretty good teamwork now, right? Yeah, I think those two guys were pre-made actually. Okay, we'll see. But like they don't have to be a pre-made for stuff like this to happen, right? You just yeah. you just have to go where your teammates are. It's that simple. Mm. And it forces teamwork. Just follow them around. So you're playing pretty well. You're getting lots of kills. Uh, we definitely can be more of a force to be reckoned with if we are ulting more. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yes! Yes! Uh oh, we're not reloading there. We have 16 bullets. Should have checked that then. Um, I would definitely. I don't know. I wouldn't because you know 100% sure she's close, right? Mm. So the second you take your eyes off of here, you might die. Mm. So I don't necessarily mind this play. I think this is is a good play. But 
we're not running out with our pants down. No. Right, we definitely want to hide in this little hallway, reload, and then attack these angles. Yep, so good, good, good. Yeah, here, yeah, the fire rate also was way too high for me. So, right so what you want to be doing as Reyna is definitely going in the practice range and practice with your ult and without your ult. Mm. Because if you're a Reyna main, then you definitely want to be learning how to control your gun with your ult on. And once you do learn how to control it with your ult on, you will be a monster. Right? Mm. So it's just about practicing and practicing the spraying. So you definitely need to put some uh, hours into the practice range and just spray a bunch of targets. And spray with your ult on too, and just learn how to control it, right? So generally, should I be ADSing in this game? Or? Definitely not. Definitely not. Almost never. Because it makes you shoot slower. Yeah. So it, it gives you a little bit of accuracy, but it makes you shoot slower. And that payoff isn't worth it. You don't yeah. want to be... Because you can, you can be accurate if you control your gun. Mm. You don't need an ADS to help control your gun because you're good enough to know where your bullets are going after enough practice. Is that, does that make sense? Right? You don't need yeah, the crutch. Yeah. You don't need the crutch at the ex no, expense of shooting slower. ADS, perfect, perfect. So yeah, do not get in the habit of ADSing because it's good that you do not. You just Now you just need to learn how to control your gun. Mm -hmm. And that's going to take some time, but you okay. definitely want to practice that for sure. Oof. Okay. Yep, get the old orb. Good, good, good. Oh, just keep getting it. <laughs> yeah, I just checked it. Uh! Oh, that's so close. Can you jump behind you and then jump on top of it? I don't think you can jump to. Uh. So, yeah, how do we force teamwork here? Group up with the bomb and everyone else. Exactly. Good. Yeah, just follow him in. We want to get this trade frag. We want to help Sova get this trade frag. Have to peek. That was close. Very close. Um, but see what happens? This is like I said. In a 2v1 situation where Reyna flashes. Look. Look where you are. You're wide swinging into two people. Where's your flash? Yeah. It's dead. So now you're in the worst spot of your life because they Im immediately shot your flash. This is what I want you to do to enemy Reynas. So yeah, that was very close. Almost a very good spray transfer, but a little practice and uh, you would have had that. But uh, but I I wouldn't even do this play because what am I doing? I'm forcing teamwork by playing with my Sova to get the trade yeah. frag on site. Because there's one thing of grouping up with your teammates and it's another thing playing off of your teammates, right? Because like you're, pra you're practically grouped up with a Sova but you guys aren't even playing together so it doesn't even matter. So playing together means tr shooting at the same people and getting the trade frags if they die. So, uh, looks like a half by round. Oh, whoa, no, not definitely not a half by round. Yeah. Get this guy to buy you a gun. Mm. Look, they're rich. They're all rich. You should never save here. Don't be, don't be uh, scared to ask your teammates for a gun, cause they'll, they'll do it. Yeah. They'll, they'll buy you. I should also look at teammates equal more. Exactly. I I yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. Because, like, yeah, your money says half buy, but everyone else's money says full buy. Mm. Full buy plus buying a teammate. That's how rich they are, right? So definitely use use their money to your advantage. Yeah, with a vandal, I probably would have killed them. Oh, absolutely. You've been dumpstering these guys. You can absolutely kill them if you had a vandal. 
Okay, so love this teamwork. I love this grouping up. Now, now we're looking like a team here. Go quick, go quick, get the gun. Pick up the gun. We gotta go quick. So that's that's even fine, but they need to trade the frag. Hmm. And they do. So that's good. That's playing with your teammates. It's kind of lagging. It's like frozen here. But that's good. Good stuff. Doesn't matter if you die. As long as they get the trade frag, it's okay. So with Reyna, you really don't really want to be opping too much. Because uh, yeah. you're a flash character, so you definitely want to be flashing and going, you know. And it's really hard to flash things for your team and op at the same time. Puts you in awkward situations. Yeah, you see, like, you, you can't yeah, just be running in with the op, right? And, but you want to run in because you're Reyna to get kills and to flash people. Yeah, generally I don't really play op anyways. Okay, yeah. I just thought I'll try that once. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you request, perfect. Oh. See? They bought you. Mm. Right? They could have bought you last round too. And who knows, maybe you would have won. Or wait, not not last round, but you know you know what I mean. Yeah. The round where you needed it. So definitely look at your team's economy to make uh, better economic decisions. Making sure you're not running out with a pistol when someone can easily buy you. Yep, so, like I said, walking up with your flash, we never want to do that. Mm. Unless you have someone covering this, then it's okay, maybe. But at that point, mm. it doesn't even, it doesn't do anything, right? Walking up with your flash doesn't, like, charge up your flash or anything. It doesn't make it better, so we just gun out, gun out. Then when we're hugging this wall, then we flash so we can flash through, you know, stuff like that. Mm. But we're just, we're just risking, risking blind. Okay, what do we didn't we we didn't check something? I'm twelve. Oh, oh no. to to the immediate right, right. Immediate left. Oh okay. Yep, he could still be behind you, right? So our first thing, we want to quickly check here, then I look here, then I look window, and then when I swing, I look left. That's my order of operations. And our crosshair is just low. Hey, good spray, good spray. This is the power of playing with your teammates. You immediately got trade fragged because they played together. So it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. Like, you get a kill. Crosshair, crosshair. Oh, oh! Right. Yeah. You could have. You could have died. You could have. You could have either died or killed him earlier if you had your. I mean, like you could have died if he was looking at you and you had your flash out, or but if you had your gun out, you could have killed him faster, right? So, we definitely want to be having a gun out more and making sure we're not just walking out with their hands. Good stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't be using my Q in uh, after round. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a habit. I understand. Yes, yes. Spectre, Spectre. Oh no! I hope you guys don't lose this round. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, we don't want to repeat that. There's gonna be more people there. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, play defensive. Don't wide swing into multiple people. It's not going to be good. Woo! 
but we don't want to forget about them. <laughs> nah. Right. So yeah, we just kind of forgot about the, the two people we saw along. You almost killed that sage. That was an insane flick. Yeah. But, uh, okay. yeah, we, normally I wouldn't do that. yeah, we definitely want to weigh the important, like, we're not weighing the danger. Uh, like, a lot of things that you're doing, you probably don't see, like, danger, but when I'm watching you, like, the red sirens are going off, like, rrr, 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 like, danger, danger, right? All these things I'm seeing, super unsafe, right? It's good that you don't re-peek the long. But uh, you definitely want to make sure that either A, you can jiggle peek it to make sure that if they're walking up or not, and you're safe to do that play, to run away. But either hold the angle or jiggle peek until you know that they're not there anymore. Okay, good stuff, but look at our crosshair. Yep. So here, look, you can even see. Because someone peeks at the last second. Okay, so we're shooting at their belt. Right, so we just need every single thing we do, our crosser needs to just be higher. Hmm. Yep, just everything you do, just crosshair higher, and you're going to be in a, a much better spot. So this is good, right? We're peeking with our gun out. It's a lot safer. Say, you know this one. See, long. See, look. Look how many times you hit him. You see? Three in the chest. So if your crosshair was just like right here, you would have immediately killed him. Right position, like right position from the wall, right area you're looking at. Everything's perfect. It just needs to be higher, yeah. and then you would be, you'd be getting so so many more kills. Okay, so what's our economy look like? So we have full buy. Full buy, save, save, save. So we're just all on different pages, right? We're all doing, like, I don't know. We're all over the place where, with our economy. And if you are in a position to where your economy isn't good, but your whole team's is, everyone buy, still. You have to buy, too. Buy heavy armor and keep your ghost, that's fine. Because when you kill someone, or if one of your teammates dies, you can now pick up their gun, and now you're uh, you're in a good spot for it because you have heavy shields. Yeah. So it's as if you bought. Whew, we're not repeating that. That's scary. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so if we're ever, ever peeking out garage, we have to flash. We have to flash. Because it there's when you sweep, swing garage, there are so many angles that are just detrimental to your success. So here, we have this angle, we have this angle, we have this angle, and we even have people close, behind the door or close right. So it's just walking out of garage needs to be like you have to make it as safe as possible and how do we do that with the flash even if you because you probably thought oh I'm sneaking up on this Reyna right so I don't want to give away my position with flash mm -hmm. but the the Reyna is the only one you know that they that there's there for sure yeah. right that's what the, that's the only thing you know for sure but they could easily be here, 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 even here, right? Yeah, so don't always think where they could be. Exactly. Don't don't. Back then. Yeah, don't be like, okay, this Reyna is a hundred percent by herself because that's the only thing I saw on the mini map, right? Now, just definitely entertain the possibility of her having teammates close by. 
Because you kind of like tunnel visioned on this uh, Reyna on the minimap you saw. And you got the kill, which is still good. Uh, and especially when you're saving, it's good to get a kill. But we definitely could have made that a lot safer. Like you could have, if you flashed out, you could have killed that Reyna and got out. Because the Sage would have been flashed. You would have killed the Reyna and then ran away. Does he win this? No. Okay, so what do we have? What ability do we have that I'm looking at? Ult. Ult. What are we doing this round? Ulting. Mm. It's, it's, it's that simple, right? That's the thought process. Do I have ult? Yes, then use it. <laughs> I'm not taking any gunfight right now unless I'm ulted. Okay. Right here I'm ulting, dude. Like, they're coming. They're coming in the B. They're coming in the garage. I'm turning into Terminator and mowing down their whole team. Uh, unlucky, unlucky. Yeah, you just kind of waited too long. Uh, like, this is another thing of, like, not weighing the, the danger of, like, you saw, you saw him, right? Right there. Close garage. So... You definitely don't want to just forget about her, because she could easily just walk through for free, you know? So either here, you push through A, so you don't get flanked from Garage, or you flash in Garage and deal with the Garage person quickly before you get flanked through B, right? So you definitely don't want to rely on just them not pushing something, because you've been bitten in the ass two times because of it. Yeah, here's where the game starts getting close because we got an AFK. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Good stuff, good stuff. We used it. Uh, we don't, I mean, it's walled off, right? Yeah, but I heard them knifing the wall. Woo! Which... I see, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Look! You turn into a machine when you ult. Yeah, get a new gun. Okay, don't, don't, don't peek while we're loading. Yeah. Unsafe, 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 unsafe. Now you're ready to kill. Look at this! Right? That's because you ulted. Do that more. <laughs> You'll win more rounds. Okay, C long is walled. We don't need to care about that. It's A. Good rotation. Oh, that's so unlucky. Okay. Yeah, so we don't want an ADS there for sure. Mm. But, uh, not that big of a deal. I mean, like, you were dead anyway because they just double yeah, peaked you. Does ADS actually reset spray? No. No, 100% not. Definitely not. If it reset your spray, ADSing would be busted. But yeah, no, it just continues here. But I think when I start getting frustrated that I'm missing so many shots because it's okay. ahead and I just start ADSing. Yeah. It's a habit as well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you were dead anyway because they just double peaked you. They used teamwork against you. Mm. That'll happen all the time. So we definitely want to be buying a assault rifle here. Uh, why, why not? Yeah. Right, look how much money we have. Alright, we leave ourselves with with 3400. Alright, 
We definitely just want but an I assault rifle. I think I was making sure so I can have an assault rifle next round, if I remember correctly. Even if you buy an assault rifle here, I guarantee you'll be able to buy next round. Yeah. Because you have a AFK and you get boosted money. Also, uh, look, look how much he's leaving himself with next round. Hmm. 200. Or not 200, but that this is how much he's buying down to. So, yeah. next round, he's saving. So it doesn't even matter. So you full buy with your teammates. <clears throat> right? So, I mean, even if you full buy here, you can still buy next round. I guarantee it 100%. Good flash, good flash. Flash, flash, flash! Okay. Oh no, oh no! Okay, so definitely standing in right, right here and behind this box is a million times safer. Just standing right here and waiting to, for the flash to go off. Oh, the brimstone. Yeah, it didn't hit. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't reach you. Yeah, I just got hit by like Sage Q. Yeah. Q, Brimstone. Yeah. yeah. You almost made it to safety, but I, I would definitely just hide in that corner for sure. Yeah. Also, okay. Um, if you're the garage player and there, and and your teammate is running away, it's because there's big danger right so it's not like you're tagging out with your sage and then running into the danger definitely what would be better is to hide garage and just watch watch for the cross and just shoot them as they're crossing you don't have to run at a team of five people rushing you're gonna die every time right so especially if your teammates giving it up why why are you going in if you know this is just different pages so uh, it's okay to give them a sight completely just give it to them Right, if it if it means you you guys stay alive, because then after they have the whole site, you guys retake as four. Yep. You wait for your rotations, and then you retake together. Okay. Yeah, cause Sage is Sage is running to safety because she knows what's about to happen. So you kind of like take her spot for no reason, right? But you should have just stayed garage the whole time. Cause like you're not gonna defend someone else's bomb site for them if they're running away from it. Like, I don't know why they're running, but if they're running, then you can't just run in. You guys have to do the same things together, for sure. Yeah, don't be scared to just give up the site in situations like that, and just retake as a team. See, look right, you full buy and you have. Uh, 1200 left over mm. or 1600 I know 1200 yeah you have 1200 left over anyway Good call with the flash. You called it out. Very good. Oof. Okay, so, um, yeah. I mean, it's just unlucky. You didn't have another flash to use. I would definitely be a little more selfish with my flashes. Because, like, right here, I would flash in and then run in. Because, like, you flash for your teammate to peak heaven, but, like, that's good. But it's better if people like run in with a flash to get ground to make it across site. But uh, yeah, not not that big of a deal. He just got opt here. Oh, very good flash. Really good stuff. 
see this is this is this is how I want you to be using your flash like all the time, right? You, you use your flash and then you gain all this ground to run in and you uh, you you punish them too. So like best case scenario, that's what you want to be doing every time. Very good stuff. One sec, I gotta adjust my glasses. All right. So yeah, this is a very good play. Now you guys won. Good stuff, good stuff. So yeah, a um, lot of stuff to work on. So uh, I think uh, the top three would be definitely uh, crosshair placement, you know, just needs to be higher, just overall. Just to turn it up higher. Uh, unsafe abilities, right? Walking up with our flash out, with our, with our pants down. We don't wanna be caught. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna be caught when they peek, when we're not ready, right? We don't wanna be peeking while reloading, pe peeking with our flash out, walking up with our flash out. We just need to be respectful of all of the angles, not just some, all of them. And that means having the gun out and being ready to kill if anyone's in any unexpected angle. Um, you know, playing with your team a bit, getting the trade frags, forcing forcing the teamwork in solo queue. Very important. Um, ult usage obviously needs to be way higher because we use like two ults that whole match, yeah. right? So th that definitely could be way, way higher. Just don't be scared to waste it. Just that's that's the bottom line. Don't be scared to waste it because it's not a waste. Uh do you have any questions? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, spraying, spray control. Work on that spray control in the in the uh, practice range, and work on that spray control when you're ulting too, in the middle of your ult, in the practice range. Just ult. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a lot of lot of stuff for you to work on. Re really good stuff. But uh, mm. you you did well that game, and uh, it could be a lot better though. You know. Mm. Yeah. All right, man.